Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how OP Barley is in this current meta. You guys have seen the balance changes. He's got an additional range and additional damage. He's so broken in ladder and competitive right now. You guys have got to try him out for sure. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Right, guys, jumping into the first game with Barley, trying to show you guys how OP he is, especially on these lanes. Literally every single map right now, there's hardly anything that can actually beat him. Only really the Brawlers that are extremely aggro are going to be what's able to beat him in lane. Just, just so much damage. 1.2k per shot. It's just honestly, it's insane. It really is insane. Nothing's going to be beaten in lane for sure. So you can see, I'll win my matchup easily. Unfortunately, my teammates uh, lose to the mid. Should be able to come back pretty decently though. Nice slow from RB. Rico's going to go aggro. I'm just going to use super here just to try and flush him out. Okay, nice. We were able to regain control. So this map is a bit crazy. Really don't like this one. But across like all the competitive maps right now, uh, just in general, Barley is going to be insane. It surely is like a top pick in Power League once that comes out. If you are looking for a brilliant Siege, he probably is like the number one pick in Siege right now other than uh, Stu. Literally nothing he can um, that can really be much better than him. Unfortunately, this map, just too much grass. For me, because these guys can just keep sneaking in every other map, though. But like on Rubble, he's just going to dominate on. And I'm not the best Barley in the world. If you guys have seen any gameplay from Tom, you will know that he's the best Barley in the world. So if Barley is meta, lo and behold, we probably will be one of the best teams in the game. Because nothing beats Tom Lane. It's like me with Gene. In a sense, like, like that's my brawler with Tom. It's Barley. So I'm excited for this meta to come. Uh, we should be able to kill this be literally one shot that should be be done that should be a goal so really nice there so good job to come back i probably need it to be a little bit more aggressive on my lane and focus more on that so i'm just going to go down this lane obviously young wants to go down here nice shots from rb i've not really had to use my slow for the most part heal is going to be better with barley but just because of a lot of people using aggro brothers i go with slow just in case there's like a mortis and they go something like that down my lane but that's gonna be the first game let's hop straight into the next one all right guys jumping into the next game so looks like we've got a tough comp to face off against but uh spike shouldn't be the worst so i can literally push spike straight back into spawn he's gonna get some nice shots around the wall so i've actually got to back off a little bit here let's see if we can take him down he's one shot i'm really weak as well but let's not let him sneak in. So yeah, Barley's going to be really amazing against those squishy brawlers. But uh, <laughs> other than that, there's like literally nothing that can really be... That really uh, Barley struggles against in this meta. It's, it's kind of crazy. I don't remember the last time where Barley was this meta. I feel like they really did overbuff him this time. Like, they, they must have wanted a Barley meta because he wasn't really... He wasn't weak at all. It really wasn't. It's the... Uh, I think the super range should be increased in range as well not 100 percent sure on that so don't quote me should be able to get the max and honestly a good barley can 1v3 because of the control it's just it's just insane the amount of range he's got okay one one thousand damage around a wall okay nice snipe from our their gene i think we should be able to score that even with the miss pool so yeah even though he missed a pool he scores the goal so gotta cut up some slack with that <laughs> But, and a lot of times we just force the enemies into positions they don't want. So again, a super nice flush out. And I could just push straight up here. 1v2in already. I'm not allowed to use my slow again. So I'm just going to use it. Actually, yes, nice. And we're double slow on the gene. Now that is pain. He's got slowed by my gadget and these gadgets. We're going to slow max as well. And that should. Okay, really close there. That could have been a goal. But on those maps with a lot of walls as well, Barley's going to be even more dominant on. I can't really think of many off the top of my head because I don't play much ladder. Uh, but maps with walls, even just like this, I can just sit behind a wall. There's no one that's going to be able to take me down. And we should be able to win this game easily, especially with Squishy Brawler like this. Again, he's going to get taken down. That's going to be another easy win. So that's going to be that. Let's hop straight into the next game. Right, guys, jumping into the next game with Barley. So... I don't think I'm going to include this one because we just literally lost the game in like 30 seconds because the enemy team just used like triple aggro. That's of course going to be the main thing that's going to really uh, take down a Barley. So I thought I had the heal gadget there, trying to heal myself up. Other things as well I didn't really consider is wall break options like Colt, like Brock can really counter Barley because of course he's not the best in the open at all. So that's also a good counter to Barley if you're thinking about it. Also then Barley pins. You love to see it. And Barley animations are so, so cool. So again, I'll just need this aggro position behind a wall. And there should be nothing that's going to be able to take me down if I play it smartly enough. So it's going to be 
Nani going down right there. Should be able to pass this off to the B, and we should be able to score. So even after a bit of a rough start, we're able to capitalize on it. So I'm in the open here. Probably best I switch lane. Colt literally used like three gadgets, two gadgets, just to break open the wall. So I may as well go down this lane. So good pressure here. I'm just going to be able to run up, auto aim this Rico down, slow him. That should be him pretty much dead. And that's going to be an easy win for us. Let's hop straight into the next game. All right, guys, hopping into the next game. Let me know what you think of the current meta in the comment section below. Are you enjoying the new fresh feeling from it? There's a lot of brawlers like Spike, like Tara again, a lot more usage in this meta. So I'm actually quite excited. Let's just use a slow here. Kind of predicted the Tara to go aggro. She should be pretty much down. Okay, one shot. Nice. That's the scary thing about this map is the bushes. I've got to be really careful. Not allow anyone to sneak up. But this should be Tara down. Just look at that damage. Insane. This should be these brawlers down as well. Okay, just a crow left. Let's see if we can take him down. Oh, damn it. I don't get how I didn't score there. But I'm going to run back. And just use a super to keep Tara back as well. Okay, no. I can't allow it to get in the bush. She's going to go down again. Tara just had no chance against Barley Lane at all. I'm going to get taken down by the crow. He's going to go extremely aggro. Maybe we should be able to capitalize on this... Um, right here yeah let me know oh i completely forgot about that just a normal pin with barley the first one that you get probably is the best barley one but i've seen what well, i've got personally gene with that animated pin i haven't even got that animated pin i'm extremely jealous of him let's flush these guys out <laughs> just look at this control i could just walk up the map and just do everything to them like literally single-handedly i can just dominate so going into this one see i don't i don't get what tara's switch lane like crow he's even squishier you don't want the squishy brawlers on barley whatsoever because i can basically free tap this crow which is just going to be insane i'm just going to use a slow here take him down wow i need to get used to this damage it is kind of insane it really is insane i never thought barley would be able to do this much damage young should be able to pull the crow here should be able to score Nice. So that's going to be another easy win for us. Let's hop into the next game. Right, guys, jumping into the next game. Not really too much more to say about Barley. I feel like I'm running out of um, things to talk about because you should be able to already tell how OP he is. I've got to save ammo for this Tara sneaking up. I'm just going to keep pre-firing this bush. Okay, she's out of the bush. Nice. So now I can push up. So make sure you're playing it carefully down your lane slowly forcing them out of the bush you don't want to rush anything because it can be extremely hard to know where the enemies are after getting that bush so again at tara she's just going to get melted by me i can four shot tara with this damage which is kind of crazy to me i'm close to super this should be an easy goal here this should be an easy goal so let's try and trick shot this in oh my how did that go in that's a big choke for me if you guys watch my live stream you know how bad i am at trick shots really it's been a while since i've played actual ladder and on a small note, just a little plug, I am streaming every single day at 1 p.m. BST, so make sure you're onto that. And let me know if you've been watching and what you think of my streams. Trying to get a little bit better with them. Uh, I'm a little bit too sleepy on my stream nowadays, but that's going to be another easy win for us. Let's hop into one final game. All right, guys, jumping into the final game of the video. Let's end off on a dub. I've not really pushed many trophies inside of this just because, I, I don't know, I'm just trash at ladder nowadays. I really am. I used to be OP at ladder, but just isn't for me anymore. Let's try and stop this BB. BB with the nerf as well shouldn't be as strong. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this ball out in time. I did super kick it. I think that ball is enough time. Okay, nice. Oh, that was close. I really thought that they could just go ahead and score that, but they decided to back out. The thing about this comp, it really does well against uh, me because they've got BB just running straight at me. So I'm going to switch lane. I'd probably prefer Sandy over the BB. And it's vice versa. Tara's definitely better against the uh, BB. So I'm just going to keep pre-firing my lane. No idea where Sandy actually is. I'm, I'm going to get snack up on it. Definitely. Yep. I could feel it. Literally, one, one, the moment I push forward, Sandy just comes up. Again, that's the one thing about Barley. Really squishy. You've got to be careful. Not that. But imagine if Barley had like the HP of Sprout. Then he would literally be so, so P. So again, got to be careful of these aggressive brawlers on this map. So... I've not really been dominating. I've really not been dominating because people can just keep going so aggro on me. It's nice. We actually managed to get two kills. So this is the position that you like to be in. I can press up. I can get complete uh, grass control. And I know where they are all the time. That's when Barley thrives. 
and you know where everyone is so i'm just gonna super them up sandy probably gonna kill me here as well because of that wall peeking ability wow sandy clearly is a good counter to Bali, especially when you once you cycle your supers over and over again can be a really good counter so i'm not too sure where the sandy is okay sandy's up here so nice we've got a little bit of pressure again not really had to use my slow so this is a position i want to be in as i said but i'm always getting shot by other people always getting shot so hopefully this Tara pet can heal me up. Oh, nice, a double suck from Young, and he's able to carry me. So again, I've, <laughs> I've already basically been doing nothing. I've literally been doing nothing. So another super down my lane, making sure BB can't push up. I've got slows in case she goes aggro, and this should basically be a GG. Nice, we're just going to shred through her. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Let me know how OP you think Bali is. I think for sure going to be a top five brawler gonna take a little bit of while to get used to that range buff but that's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all next time